All right, people, welcome back. More Fake Card Friday. So a lot has happened this week. We uh, went back and forth talking about some broken cards and, of course, the Coral Dragon being uh, a powerful generic uh, Sync 6. Uh, you know, I, I, some, for some reason, I just kind of find it fashion for Fake Card Friday to be involved with uh, the, the week before. Just kind of wrap up the, the week in a nice little bit. I've been doing that a lot lately with Fake Card Friday. So, uh, I mean, why not do it again? So, uh, we have another uh, Sync 6 here like we did for Coral Dragon in the card review. And uh, we'll determine, I mean, you, you know, we thought Brio was broken or we thought Coral Dragon was broken. I mean, let's see what the extent of people uh, can do when it comes to making cards and actually see. So, this is Silent Exile. Uh is a level 6 synchro monster spellcaster synchro effect water uh it's generic one tuner one non-tuner monster 2300 attack 1800 defense so that's a pretty good i mean 2300 attack for a uh, level 6 synchro is nothing to scoff at 18 booty is fine as well so uh i hope you guys are ready for this because you're gonna be like no all right uh this card gains 300 attack for each banished card uh that's fine, <laughs> you know, uh, depending on how many banished cards there are. I mean, this can be simply just one, and it's 26 beat. That's over attack barrier to a whole bunch of banished cards. I mean, for goodness sakes, you, we already know the with the with the the pot of cupidity. You play this, then you know, play that. There's 10 right there. Summon this. That's an extra damn 3,000. This is a 5,300 monster for a generic six, six. That is fucking power. Tell me that's not fucking power, right? But no, no, no. We're not done. During either player's turn, you can banish this card, then target one card on the field, banish it, and if you do, during the end phase, return this card to its original position. You can only use this effect of Silent Exile once per turn. That's fucking busted! That is that is broken! Holy shit! Alright, so, we already know how powerful uh, Cypher Omega is, you know? Just go ahead and pick something out of your hand, hop out of the way, I'll be back, you know... Uh, during my next standby phase, and you know, that's, that's pretty power, that's pretty power, but it can't just hop out the way whenever it feels like it. It has to do that effect during the main phase, and while it can hop out of the way, but from cards like, you know, Castell or something that would get it during the main phase, during that battle phase, I mean, you hit it with Mirror Force, you know, it's 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 no wind-up rabbit or, you know, like, you know, uh, it was from Thunderbird, it's gonna get it, you know, it, it can't hop out of the way whenever it freaking feels like. This card can, straight up. Quick play effect during either player's turn, doesn't specify, you go ahead and just hop out of the way, target a card on the field, banish it, and then, for some reason, you have some status effect to come right back. Oh, and you're probably wondering, like, well, what happens to the banished card? It's gone! Like, straight up, it's gone for fucking ever. Like, that's, uh, well, it's not forever if you get back into all that, but it's gone. So straight up, you just be like, alright, well... You know, I have this freaking bear, you know, I, I'm 23 and I'm gonna get some attack, even off my own effect. Uh, let me go ahead. Oh, you set up your pendulum scales. Oh, you set, you know, fucking like, uh, you know, your monkey board. All right, well, chain, use my effect, hop out of the way, banish your monkey board. Oh, and uh, I'm going to come back as a 26 beater. And then banish again. I'm going to come back as 29. Banish, I'm going to come back as 32. During either player's turn, can be played in any phase. At least, like I said, at least Omega is only the main phase, and that's power. This could be, you can literally go attack with this exile, uh, silent exile, polar bear, fucking attack. You go Mirror Force, chain, hop out of the way, banish another card. All right, during the end phase, I'm coming back. Like, what? I don't understand what the person was thinking when they created this card. Like, this card's, like, super broken. Like, hello, OP. Like, this card would be banned. This card would be banned. I, 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 and that's totally what we need. There's another Sync 6 ban. We already had two, then one. It's just like, hey, you know? Hey, Goya Guard, remember you ban? Well, we got a card to take your place. I mean, look at this guy. He's fucking busted compared to you. He's like, Goya Guard, and be like, yeah, you know what? Shit. I mean, I see you have the card at the bottom. It says, you know, 2016 Snatch Steel. And Goya's on. He's like, you know, I'm kind of like a Snatch Steel. But at least I'm not this fucker. <laughs> just hopping out of the way of everything, banishing cards, and gaining attack off of my own fucking effect, not including all the other shenanigans I can do. Like, for a generic six, 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 this card's ridiculous. Re fucking ridiculous. You just bust out one of these and just go to town on your opponent's ass. And there's not much they can do about it. There's, there's very little things they can do to handle this situation. I mean, they can, you know, hit you while it's out of the way, but, you know, who's to say that you don't have anything else? But just know the fact that, you know, during either player's turn, you can go ahead and target a card on the field. Doesn't matter, much spell trap, field, field, field spell, whatever, doesn't matter. Banish it, it's gone, and then you'll be turning back during the end phase to, you know, rinse and repeat. Like, that, that is some fucking powerful. It's just, mm, mm. <laughs> so, yeah, so you thought, you know, Brio or Cora Dragon was that? I mean, tell me what you guys think, because I, I think this is freaking ridiculous. I really do. Uh, we got one 
uh, person who actually replied to the creator. Creator didn't specify anything or say anything about the card. He just posted and was like, here you go. You know, uh, you know, tell me what you guys think. So we got one person, some Sakura Haruno. And if you're wondering, Sakura, if you're not, yeah, I mean, you know, his, his profile pic is literally a picture of Sakura with a Christmas hat. I mean, whatever. More power to you. I'm not really a Naruto, but I'm getting off topic anyway. They say, I'm skeptical, skeptical about what this card can do. I mean, there's, you know, especially since it's pretty much a level six version of Zeta Omega, uh, <laughs> except it returns earlier, has free reign on any card on the field, and says, <laughs> and said card stays banished. Yep. <laughs> I'm not familiar with how Cypherns run, so I'm not sure if making level six ideal for them. It doesn't have to be Cypherns, it's anybody. One tuner and one non tuner monster. Anybody can make it. Uh, though for generic purposes, this card would likely be a good choice as generic for what it does. Oh no, it's broken. <laughs> Especially for decks that can't go into the aforementioned, suppose it's also nice for banishing your own. For whatever reason, you wouldn't do that in the first place. Much like what Omega does already, I'd probably limit its banishing capabilities to main phase only considering its reach. At least put a hard opt on it, but I'm still iffy about... <laughs> Of this card being a copy of Psy Frames. I mean, I mean you have Psy Frames in the first card, you know, hop out of the way and come back. Like, no, but no, like, I, I just don't, I can't understand how you see this and you're just like, yeah, that's a pretty good card. Like, this is busted. This is busted. This is straight up just wind up rabbit, except worse, because you're, you're banishing a card every single, you, you banish a card, and I'm, like I said, you can banish one of your own cards if you want to go ahead and do that, but. Banishing, a, let's just say, you're going to banish a card on your opponent's side field, you're literally going to make them go neck every single turn. Every single turn, they're going to be taking a neck while you hop out of the way. Uh, pretty much any back row. Any back row. I mean, of course, if you get hit with that freaking, that solemn, that solemn strike, then, I mean, yeah, still. But, uh, you I mean, you're a spell speed freaking too, you know. You, you, you fucking just hit the field. Your opponent Regeki's? Nah, let me hop out the way and banish one of your cards. Yeah, and of course, since you're sells P2, you can even banish the card that's coming after you. So straight up, if there is literally nothing on, else on the field, your opponent plays Regeki. You can go ahead and chain, banish the Regeki. The is still going to resolve, but you still have something to banish. And so something's going to have to come after you, and you can just banish that. You know, your opponent goes into a Castell, tries to use a Castell, hop out of the way, banish the Castell. Come back even stronger, even stronger, even stronger, even stronger. Just keep banishing and keep coming back stronger. It's like, it's, it's like the first effect just gets tutored by the second effect and it just makes it all just fall downhill. It really is. So, I don't know. Like, like me, personally, I think this card is broken. I think if this card straight up would exist, if this was actually a sync 6 that Konami made, they would have to ban it. Straight up. And uh, it really sucks because it, it, sync, sync rowing is not really a thing that's done too often. But when you have a powerful synchro like this, it's just so tempting. You know, this shit's even worse than fucking Trish. You know, Trish hits you once and, you know, at least it's out of the way. This, this is going to keep getting you and getting you and getting you until you get a Solemn Strike to stop it. Pretty much, it's pretty much what it's saying. Like, hey, you got Solemn Strike? No? Okay, then prepare to get all your shit banished. Every single thing you do is going to get interrupted and this thing's going to keep on coming out as a beater and getting stronger and stronger. And just when you think, ah, oh, you know, at least it's, it's a strong beater, but at least I can hit it with like a mirror force. No, because it can hop out of the way. Oh, well, you know, you know, it's strong, but, uh, you know, I can always attack over it. No, it could just banish any monster that you, it threatens it. Like, it's ridiculous. <laughs> and then come back, like, like, you know, a perfect example. And the whole popping out of the way thing, that's power too. Uh, me and my perspective, I find that Assault Mode is stronger than Quasar. I really do. And they both negate things, but at least Quasar stays on the field. You know? I, I play something, you negate it with Quasar, alright, well Quasar is still on the field. I go ahead and handle that Quasar, and, you know, I'm done with it. You know, if I handle it properly. Fucking Assault Mode, not only does it negate anything, but then it, hop out, it, it, it hops out of the way. It leaves the field. How am I supposed to really address it now since it's gone? It's like, it's, this is the same boat. How, how am I supposed to address it when, it, you know, it's gone? And then it goes ahead and comes back and then pokes me and then hops out of the way and banishes my shit. Like, it, this card would have probably been power even if it just, you know, hopped out of the way itself. It was straight up just like a wind-up rapid where it happens itself. But then you get to banish a card on the field too? Like, oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> so, uh, there we go. Another fake card Friday. Like, it's just sometimes I just wonder, like, the people, what, what goes through their thought process when they make cards like this? So tell me what you guys think about this card in the comment section below. Uh, tell me, do you think this card is busted? Or do you think, yeah, you know, this card could totally exist as a real card. And if it does, uh, do you think it would ever get hit? Do you think, what would it be? Limited, semi-limited, banned, unlimited? You know, tell me what you guys think. But for goodness sakes, I don't even think you could have this card limited. I think it'd have to be banned because this card's too ridiculous.
Especially, I and mean, I'm not saying justifying like, oh yeah, you know, we should totally keep like Song Strike. I, I think Song Strike should get hit too. So that definitely hurts the argument too. You know, you only got so many strikes. You only got one strike. So you know, this is you know, this is not the this is not the best answer. So well. Uh, so uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for all support. See you guys next Friday with a fake card. Uh, like I said, there's there's uh, there's cards that have been sent to me and suggested to me, and I really need to get some. Like I just keep pushing them back. So definitely next Friday we're gonna be uh, looking at a card that was sent to me. Um, for Fake Card Friday. We definitely will. I promise. I promise. If you're watching this right now, I promise. Because you're probably like every Friday, you're like, oh, is it my card yet? Oh, no. Is it my card yet? No. So, okay. Next Friday, I promise you, we will go ahead and look at one of your fake cards. So, uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And yeah, yeah. See you guys later with some more Fake Card Friday.